Electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes could help adults who are trying to quit traditional <laughs> tobacco use, but now teenagers are getting their lips around these devices. Kids like gadgets, and it is, a, it is you know, a technological um, device, and also they come in flavors like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, peanut butter. Electronic cigarettes are advertised to be safer than regular tobacco products. For one thing, you're not inhaling any real smoke, and you can actually use these products indoors, but healthcare professionals are still worried about what's inside these devices. The adolescent brain is more susceptible to the nicotine, so the concern there is, will it be a gateway to go to conventional cigarettes? A recent Center for Disease Control study shows one in ten teenagers have experimented with e-cigarettes, which contain a very high amount of nicotine in each device. Like, give you an example, like, say the, the blue starter kit, you know, we have here, you can uh, buy that for $9.99. You know, uh, it will give you equilling to about two pack of cigarettes. Since there is nicotine in e-cigarettes, no one under the age of 18 is allowed to purchase them in the state of Pennsylvania. But there are 30 states in the union where it's not against the law. There is no current government body regulating these devices, but lawmakers are looking to change that. One of the things we want to do is obviously warn uh, th those folks that aren't aware of, of what the product is uh, and make sure that we're protecting uh, those younger folks from getting involved or possibly getting addicted to that type of uh, product. Unlike regular tobacco products, makers of e-cigarettes can use radio and television to advertise the product. The advertising that's out there for the electronic cigarette is starting to use actresses and really starting to push the public that it's safe to smoke these anywhere you want to. Experts tell me the most important tool you can use to keep a teenager away from nicotine is for parents and family members to sit down and explain the dangers of the substance. Joe Galley, News 13.